Freddy Phelps. Yeah, I'm him. Who are you? I'm Jamie. I was wondering if I could join your club and... <laughs> I want to talk to you in private. I have something for you. Oh, yeah? It better be good. Come on. Christina, stop whining. If this is some sort of trick, you little creep, you're dead. It's no trick. It's sitting there in a bag, right by a big tree. I guess somebody left it there, a robber or something. I can't take it home. So I figured you can have it for your club, if I can join. And if you promise not to hit me no more. Jewels and stuff? Yeah. Must be worth millions. Come on. Honey, I can't go any further. I'm scared of being here. Something will get me. Nothing's getting nobody while I'm here. There it is. Just like I told you. Right there. I'll get it. <laughs> Don't talk. Right. But I have... Jamie, just do as you're told. Is this? What? It's one page with the uh, cutout. Did you do this? No. That's the way it was. Well, we'll take your word for it. Presume Miss Livingston will find some way to repair it. Jamie, rub it off and go home.
That's fine. Hello, Mary. What can I do for you? I'm returning this. Jamie, one of my little boys, borrowed it. There isn't likely to be any record of it having gone out. Perhaps you could slip it back for me. I'll make sure it's put back on the shelves. There's been a little clipping from one of the pages, I'm afraid. One of the figures cut out. Can you fix that? We'll just take out the whole page. Thank you. Bye. out of there. Well, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Come on down. All right, I'm coming. It's so hard to tell when you're overdoing it with him. My husband, he tells me I'm too motherly. You know, always fussing about him. Does Jamie feel smothered? Oh, no, nothing that bad. It is a problem with some children. And no, I don't anticipate you'll have any problems with him. Out of the ordinary. Except communicating with him. Hi. Are you Freddie Phelps? Yeah? Who are you? I'm Jamie. I was wondering if I could join your club and... <laughs> I will be frank with you, Miss O'Reilly. That there may be... Crush. He's, well, he's going through that difficult stage. You know. Girls? Yes. Does he have a girlfriend? Well, he has really no friends, boys or girls. His mother, of course. Ray, how dare you touch my bike? No, no. I, I was just gonna... But I was just gonna... Why don't you go back where you came from, funny person? If I see you near my bike again, I'll tell your father, and it'll be too bad for you. They'll take you away. He seems to have great trouble in getting to know anyone who comes in. I'm sure we can be friends. As I said in my letter, I'm getting through college babysitting exceptional children. Some of them are real terrors. If you don't mind, young man. I'm sorry. Well, then move. Who is it, Louise? The Benjamin boy. Oh, that one. Just not right, that boy. I'm glad his poor parents have decided to move elsewhere. He'll grow up. Surely, my dear, but into what? One of those hippos. And he has these imaginary friends, and that worries us. I realize it's normal for his age. Hello, dear. Darling, this is Sandra O'Reilly. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Benjamin. How do you do? My wife tells me you have experience with problem children, Miss O'Reilly. No, it isn't that much of a problem. I am working towards my psychology degree, so I can work on a one-to-one -one basis with exceptional children. Well, you'll find them exceptional, all right. Not that I don't love my son, Miss O'Reilly, I do. But I've never been able to understand an otherwise normal boy who lives entirely in his own head. We're part of his world, but way out on the periphery somewhere. I see. And we had an incident here with some old lady in the community. Seeing him swinging in the trees out back with nothing on except some Superman cape or something, playing Tarzan. The children at school seem to have picked this up and labeled him a... Nutcase. Face it, Andrea. No, it isn't that bad.
lunch change for dinner. Sorry. We gotta go. It's dinner time. to see it first. This is a pretty little house, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. its effect on us as a family, no matter how you look at it. Jamie hardly has time to make any friends or to get established in school, and I have to pull up the roots. None of that, young man! This is good. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Why? I don't know. Know what happened in school yesterday? No. Nope. What happened in school yesterday? I had to write something on the board a hundred times. Oh, yeah? What was it? Not to... Not to crack my knuckles in class. Well, did you deserve it? No, I never do. Miss Lynn just doesn't understand me. Do you understand Mrs. Lynn? How old is your boyfriend? Well, he isn't really what you'd call a boyfriend, Jamie. He's just a friend. Why don't you finish up your drink and go outside and play? I have work to do in the house. I don't play. I spend most of my time. I'll get it. I said I'd get it. That's very nice of you, Jamie, but... Well, women nowadays can do things for themselves. Why don't you go outside and... do whatever you like? I'm going to go talk to Teddy. Is Teddy a friend of yours? Well, is he? Sort of. She's not like the others, Teddy. She's pretty, really pretty. And she wants to be nice, but she's got a boyfriend. Only, he isn't her real boyfriend. He's just a friend. That's all, just a friend. Well then, she's, she's just, just what, what we've been waiting, waiting for, isn't she? she? Yeah, maybe she is. Aunt Margaret? Yes? What's the matter with boys? What boys, dear? Well, like that little Jamie person. What about him? Is he crazy? No. No, he's not crazy. He's not normal. He's distressing. That's what I thought. 
They're all that way. Distressing. My mother always reads to me before I go to sleep. Now, come on, Jamie. You're too old for that sort of thing. You go to sleep now. Teddy, what do I do now? Well, she'll, she'll get, get undressed, undressed and go Ooh. into the bathroom. Just give her a minute. Sandy. Yes, Jamie. Can I have a glass of water? Thanks. Sandy? Yes, Jamie. I was just sort of thinking. If. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. I can't stand here all night. What is it? Nothing, I guess. isn't a baby. Instead of sitting him, I've got to watch out and not sleeping him. Well, the body appears to be 12, but the inside of the head. Gee. What's happening in Blue Room? Oh, the usual. This creep in our room with just lost his typewriter. People running up and down the halls in their underwear. You know, standard stuff. Am I still invited to the game? How can I go to a football game and leave a 12-year-old boy behind? Okay, okay, I'll pick you up. But we have to be at the stadium 30 minutes before game time. You know, I gotta change and all that. And, uh, one more thing before I forget. Well, you've got a pretty sexy voice, too. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yes. I think I'm gonna tell her about the things. The secret? Careful, Jamie, careful. I was just watching you sleep. Well, let's knock, shall we? Not just walk in like that. Surely your mother has taught you that people deserve some privacy. You don't have to worry about me. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Well, after all, I'm only 12. Jamie, that isn't the point. After breakfast, I'm going to tell you a secret. Well, this certainly looks good. Uh, anyone can cook. If you watch someone do it long enough. Who have you watched? Your mother? Yeah. And there have been other people like you. They all cook. Most of them pretty good, too. How many of these people have there been, Jamie? Lots. Any of them ever come back? No. I don't know why. Mother says we have a problem getting women to come in. You know how it is nowadays. Yeah. Would you like to know my secret? 
If you promise not to tell. If you'd like to tell me. I know where there's a huge hole in the ground. A big hole in the ground? It's in the woods, about a mile away. And at the bottom of the hole, down in the dark, there's some things. What kinds of things? Well, they're not people, that's for sure. They got yellow eyes, little tiny ones, and they're all hunched up. I read about them in a book, or something like them. I think the trolls are troll logs. Do they talk to you, Jamie? It isn't funny, you know. I know, I'm sorry. What I meant was, can you hear them as well as see them? Well, I can hear them sometimes. They're always down there. I think one of them died. No one else in the whole world knows about them but you. Except you. You know about them now. Again? Do you remember me? It's me, Jamie. I'm the one with the terrarium at home. I'm your friend. Can you hear me? Do you talk to people? I guess not. Somebody else knows about you. She's older than me, and pretty. She's another one staying at the house. But she's not like the others. She's different. Kept you waiting. Coach wanted to see me. Hey, do you want to learn how to play football? Yeah. Maybe I'll teach you someday.
Jamie? Are you crying? Go away. Are you a parent? I don't recall seeing you here before. Uh, no, I'm a babysitter housekeeper, actually. I'm working for a Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin. Looking after... Jamie. Yes. Well, I can certainly understand why you'd want a book on problem children. Oh, no. It's Miss... Sandra O'Reilly. I'm very happy to meet you, Marge Livingston. How do you do? Look, I'd like to tell you something about that little boy that you might not know. There's another woman I'm sure you'll understand. Hi there, Jamie. Want to try my bike? Well, sure, if you don't mind. No, I thought about it, and I realized I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. You really aren't a funny person. I kind of like you. Well, you're sure now? Sure, I'm sure. Go ahead. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? I let Jamie try my bike. <laughs> Abigail, that's awful. <laughs> Jamie, you shouldn't play with her. I wouldn't play with that crud if she was... You stop laughing. <laughs> you should just go home. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> you should have been here, Aunt Margaret. It uh, was the funniest thing I ever saw. Come in. <laughs> right now. In. This type of magazine, and you? Does that make sense? Have you ever wondered why you haven't got any friends? Any playmates? Doesn't that bother you? Nope. Don't you ever get lonely always playing by yourself? Well, I'm not lonely. I got Teddy. And the things in my terrarium. I talk to them and bring them things to eat. I can always go see the trial logs. Well, they don't talk much. Okay, Jamie. Right here. What does that say? Troglodytes. From the Greek word meaning cave dweller. Also, and... What is this word? Anthropoid ape. A man-like ape. You see? And the trolls are in there, too. 
They exist only in little kids' fairy tales. English children used to be told to watch out or the trolls and the trogs would get them. But even those kids knew they weren't real. So? This isn't a cave. It's a big hole in the ground. And it isn't a fairy tale either. What did your mother tell you about them? That they're myths. Myths. Yeah, I know myths. But they're sitting down there, and they're looking up at me. And myths don't do that. Who's Teddy? My bear. Your teddy bear? Mm-hmm. Come on. It's bedtime and bath time as well. Let's go. Maybe if you came and saw the trial logs, well, then you'd believe no, me. No, Jamie. Will you wash my back? Don't you think you're a little old for that? We'll be all covered up with suds. All right, as long as you stay under those suds. Would you be sad if my mother and father didn't come home? I'd be broke. I get paid for this, you know. Yeah, I know. Can two people fall in love when they're young? I guess so. I think I've done that fallen in love. But she doesn't notice me because I'm still young. But I'll grow up. Then there won't be any difference. Do you mean me, Jamie? Yes. I want you to know I think that's really beautiful. You do? But you won't even remember me when you've grown up. I'm twice as old as you are. So? Maybe you can think about it a little after I've left. We can write to each other and stay friends. Do you know what they eat down in that hole? What are you talking about? Well, they just can't eat nothing. Oh, for goodness sakes. Probably chocolate bars. How should I know? Do you know why my mother washes me so much? Washes you so much? Does she do that? Yeah. Is she really trying to make me clean? I guess so. Here. You finish up and get out on your own, okay? It's funny. I don't always think I'm dirty. Do you like washing me? How far do you jog? Not far. Are you sure? Promise. Okay, let's go. for a while. And the children always put new additions to the class through some sort of trial period. And he didn't make it. He's a loner, doesn't play sports, just didn't fit in. So they picked on him. Is he a good student? No. He's the highest IQ in class. His only interest is science. He's good at that. Did a wonderful project on toads. 
Um, draws well? Can't spell. Who can? You'll be all right. If... If what? Depends on what happens to him in the next few years. Little boys always grow into men. Ask Margaret Livingston. I see. What kind of books was that little boy taking out? Um, art. What kind of art? Some drawing and painting. How to do it stuff. And some on animal husbandry. Maybe he wants to be some kind of a veterinarian. I see. Jamie? Well, I'd like to buy some meat. It's for my mother. Did your mother say what kind she wanted? Well, something where you get a lot for your money. Oh, you mean stewing beef or hamburger? Both. Well, it's sort of a mixture. Okay, Jamie, you're the boss. Hey, that's a lot of meat, you know. Well, it is for five people. Did you go in there and write that on the mirror while I was taking a shower? Yes. Well, enough is enough, young man. Do I make myself clear? No matter what you want to say to me, you just don't come into the bathroom without knocking it. Sandy. What? Before you go, will you leave me a picture of you? A photograph? Oh, Jamie, just leave me alone, okay? Please.
somebody chasing you, Jamie? No. What, the same again? Yes, please. Aren't your mom and dad away? Yes. Well, what do they need all this meat for? Uh, you got a freezer? Well, my housekeeper will take care of it, I guess. Yeah, it probably is for the freezer. Have your mother give me a call when she gets home. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, if it isn't clumsy, stupid. No matter what you think of that boy, I'd rather you didn't talk to other children that way. That isn't a child, it's... Never mind. He's doing an errand for Miss O'Reilly. Buying meat probably sits under his porch and eats it raw. Well, that's that. No more. How much money do you have left? 62 cents. Well, I'll, I'll think, think of something. something. Don't you look down the whole hole anymore? See if they're still down there? They're always there. They can't get out. Which is a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. What about Miss Livingston? Miss Livingston? Yes, you know. Oh, Miss Livingston. This is choir night, isn't it? Hello? Hello, Miss Livingston. Yes, who is it? You have a niece named Abigail? Yes. Is something happened? She's been kidnapped, Miss Livingston. And no one will ever find her. Oh, no. But she'll be set free if you do exactly what I tell you to. Yes, yes. Anything. Please don't hurt her. What do you want me to do? I want to see you, Miss Livingston. Do you understand? Yes. I'm watching you now, Miss Livingston. You could call the police, but then... Poor Abigail. And I'd much rather look at you than her. Don't try and fool me. I can see you in the window. What's more important, being shy or getting Abigail back? That's right. That's a good Miss Livingston. Slowly, slowly. All right, damn you. You want to see my body? I was just undressing when... I'm gonna kill you! I bet Abigail was surprised. Look at the look in her face. I'm gonna look at these a lot. <laughs> Do you know why I wanted to have this little talk with you away from the house? No. Guess. Why would I? I'd want to talk to you about. I have no idea. Would you have anything to say to me if I told you it was about honesty? No. I don't think so. Jamie. There's only been two of us in the house, right? Mm-hmm. In fact, no one else has been in the house since your parents left for Seattle. Yeah, I know. Not even Alan. Is he honest? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, if something of yours was mysteriously missing, you'd come and ask me about it, wouldn't you? Yes. So, if something of mine 
just mysteriously vanished, I could come and ask you, couldn't I? Jamie, what do you think I'm talking about? I don't know. I'm going to ask you a very straightforward question, little man. And I'd like an honest and straightforward answer. Do you know how much money I had in my purse? How it's been missing? Did you take it? Jamie, look at me and tell me the truth. If you took it, I'll understand, but please don't lie to me. Did you steal it? Jamie, come back here. Oh. Picked you some flowers. Alan, would it be too much to ask for you to talk to him? Oh, yeah, whenever. Great. But sure, whenever you get the chance. Somebody's going to come and take you away and kill you. Make steaks and hamburger out of you. Look, I've got some friends that eat meat, too. And i got to take care of them. I'm going to take you to see them. And i got to get you to fall down the hole, or else they might starve or even get out. Come on, cow. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt you anyways. Guess it's better this way. everything I could think of. Then there's only one thing left, isn't there? Yes. But not nice people. Oh, no. Nasty people. And we know some awfully nasty people, don't we? Well... Walking right up to someone's driveway without even being asked, like you owned it or something. What do you want? Abigail, 
Ever since I moved here, I've tried to be your friend. Yeah. So? Well, I guess you know that I don't have a bike like yours. So? Will you lend me your bike, Abigail, just for a short ride? Because I like you, and I think of you as my friend. Because I don't have one. That'd be nice. Ha! Huh, are you crazy? Abigail, I know where there's a bicycle path that no one has ever ridden. Nobody can. And especially not a girl. Oh, really? And I'll bet that How you... How much will you bet, Jamie Benjamin? I'll bet this silver supervisor's whistle. Come on, you can do it, or can't you? Come on, come on! <laughs> Think you can scare me, funny person? Ha! not mad at you, Miss Oliphant. I really appreciated it when you told on me and I was punished by having my bike taken away. I was being very, very naughty. And I know that when people like you tell on children like me, it's, it's for our own good. Well, it's nice to hear that, Jamie. I perhaps misjudged you. You see, in my Shall day... Shall I push you, Miss Oliphant? Oh, well, I was waiting for Louise to return. I know you can't see. Beautiful nature trail up here, Miss Oliphant. I, I don't like to go to the park. You know, I, to go sometime. I can't even see it. Look, we can't play in here. It's too thick. I hear 
Try this. Try this. Come on. Throw. Look, there's a clearing just up there. We can play there. Come on. Okay. You see? I told ya. Now go for a long one. Here it comes. Ah! There it goes. There's nobody else. Not that I can think of. That's nasty. Oh, I think we can find two more, Jamie. Don't you? This is some sort of trick, you little creep. You're dead. It's no trick. It's sitting there in a bag, right by a big tree. I guess somebody left it there, a robber or something. I can't take it home. So I figured you can have it for your club, if I can join. And if you promise not to hit me no more. Jewels and stuff? Yeah. Must be worth millions. Come on. Honey, I can't go any further. I'm scared of being here. Something will get me. Nothing's getting nobody while I'm here. <laughs> See? There it is. Just like I told you. Right there. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> i 
sorry about you. You're pretty, but you're not pretty inside. People being bullied and hurt isn't funny. You'd probably spend your whole life giggling at other people's hurt. You should go too. That way you'd be together in heaven. You're both the same. Guess you won't be needing this anymore. I do. <laughs> Goodbye, pretty girl. for the coffee. That's okay. You never found out why Alan didn't come around anymore. No, I tried. I called a lot of his friends, but nothing. Now, don't let that little perv get to you. <laughs> don't worry. I'm armed to the teeth. I've been reading up on this type of little monster. He won't scare me away. Jamie. What? Did Alan ever come over here and play football with you? No. Was he supposed to? He's missing, you know. So? Do you know anything about it? About what? About Alan. None of his friends know where he is. He hasn't shown up for football practice. Hasn't he called you? No. Was that supposed to be my fault? <laughs> Gill's missing. And so's Miss Olive, aren't they? And Freddie and Christina. What? They don't eat chocolate bars. You know what they eat? Who? You know who. Jamie, I'm sorry I slapped you. I shouldn't have. I'm really sorry. Please believe me. You don't believe me. I told you my secret and you don't believe me. I know how important it is to you now. And I do believe you. Honest, I do. Okay? Will you come and see them with me then? I can show you where they live. All right, Jamie. I'll make you a deal. You stop all this, uh, love me stuff, and I'll go. Okay? 
All right, it's a deal. like what you think they are. Well, then no living person has ever seen them except you and me. They're tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years old. They've survived. They're not that old. No, not these particular ones. Their race. Their, their species. Oh. Jamie, honey, listen to me carefully. There are special scientists called paleontologists and anthropologists whose only job no. is... No! They'd put them in a cage or lock them in a zoo for sure. It's our secret. Jamie, you keep frogs and lizards in a cage in your terrarium. So? Jamie, we must tell them what you found here. No, it's our secret. You promised. Jamie, you're gonna have to be very grown up and mature now. This is more than some secret that we can keep. I hate to say it to you, babe, but the only reason I gave you my word is because I couldn't believe this was possible. Well, I, I knew it had to be your imagination. Teddy was right. Jamie? <laughs> Everybody, wouldn't she? <laughs> didn't love me. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my fault she died. <laughs> no, Jamie. It's not your fault. 
She fell. You go to sleep then. And if necessary, the local police will invite outside assistance to locate her. There seems to be no direct connection between this and previous disappearances. Shame. Real shame if anything happened to that girl. Jamie, your father has just been reading about Sandy. I heard what the paper said. Aren't you sad that she's gone, son? You two seem such good friends. Your father means something might have happened to her. She went off with her boyfriend. How long did it take them? You were close to them. Did you see what he looked like? Tall, short, fat? Well, he was a man with a mustache. Older with dark hair. A mustache. He took her away in a car. What color was this car? Yellow. That's something. Well, maybe yellow or green. Come on, son. You said you saw it. Yeah, it was yellow. Or green. Okay, folks. Thanks for the help. You can go to bed now, Jamie. Well, I always try to be helpful. Well, good night, then. Not much to go on, I'm afraid. Does it sound as if he's... Is he telling the... You shouldn't tell lies like that, Jamie. librarian with the peeping Tom who threatened the girl said she'd been kidnapped. Yes, sir. Seems pretty strange. Bentley, do you know why I chose to live in this town? No idea, sir. Because nothing ever happens here, that's why. Okay, then, wise guy. Explain this being in your car. And these. Only a weirdo does stuff like this. When we found Christina's costume in your car, and this in the glove compartment, well, I don't know about you, but the way I see it, two and two equal four. Old ladies. This is a chair, Sergeant, but... Uh... Miss Oliphant, is he? Missing, Bentley? Yes, sir. Is that what she is? Is she missing? Yes, sir. I don't believe it. How could anyone possibly be missing in this town? Mm -hmm. Bentley, mm -hmm. it's here. I know you're the only right here. There won't be anybody else now. Most other people are pretty nice people. I'm sorry, but I can't feed you anymore. So, you're gonna have to take care of yourselves. Well, goodbye. 
if I think of anybody else, I'll come back, but I don't think so. you think it was your fault, but she fell all by herself. It was her fault. But I'm scared when I see her like that. Did you try to pull her up? Yes. And almost fell in trying? Yes. Well? It baffles me, sir. But I don't think Garth did it. <laughs> He's just not that, well, foolish. Like a plague or something. People disappearing right and left. Old ladies, little girls, young women, schoolboys. Why don't you make the whole thing official? I mean, they'd send you enough policemen and experts to... Are you out of your mind, Bentley? It'd make me the laughing stock of every police department in the country. Those people aren't dead. They just, uh, just disappear. Sergeant? Yes, Bentley? I've got another missing person. Only well, this time he's not missing, he's dead. Come on in, the water's great. with him, uh, Trudy Slater. I've got her bag and her jacket, but no girl. I'm standing out in the highway by his truck. He's just parked by the side of the road with no one around. Bentley! Bentley! Bentley, are you there? You coming? No, I'll stay in. It's great. happen if the farmer shows up? No way. This place is deserted. There's a house back up the road, but nobody lives in it. Want to go skinny dipping? I'm tired.
There. See what I told you? Pretty awful mess. What's left of her. They weren't animals. What are you suggesting? They look like, well, deformed people. Small, hairy. Listen, what about a zoo? Is there a zoo around here I haven't heard about? They've got these orange uran things that... Oh, my God. Karen! Before we go, I'd like to make it clear that we're after some type of animals, and they're killers. If any of you are in danger, kill them. Don't wait to ask questions or try to figure out what to do. Shoot the damn things. Let's go. Spread out along the edge of the bush. All the way down. Load your guns. All right, let's go.
dogs, a pack of them. They must have been wild and living out there for years. Were they really dangerous? Oh yeah, we had a shooter. Did you get all? Yeah, we're burying them. No need to drag them into town, make too much of a scene. People would want to write about it in the papers and stuff like that. something to eat. Okay. See that little girl there? Yeah. Well, that's Alicia. She can be your playmate. Now, you wait here, Teddy. I'll be right back. Sort of. We can play together, okay? Sure. Okay, you chase me. I know. 